guys, welcome to my... <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my video and today I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of owning a hamster. First we're starting off with the cons. The first con is that hamsters are, unfortunately, nocturnal. So for small children, which hamsters are usually bought for, they won't really get to see them very much. And also, some wheels for hamsters can be quite loud and they can wake you up during the night. The second con is hamsters need quite a lot of space. The minimum for a cage side is 450 square inches, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in your room or in wherever you're keeping the cage, it does take up quite a lot of space. Now moving on to the pros of having a hamster. The first pro is that hamsters genuinely don't smell as long as you spot clean the cage every couple of days. Spot, spot cleaning is taking the poo and peed areas out of the cage so that, that it doesn't smell. Hamsters keep themselves quite clean and do bathe themselves quite often. The next con is that hamsters can be quite pricey. You're going to have to buy a cage, toys, chews, hideouts and bedding quite often and you're going to have to buy quite a bit of it because they're burrowers and burrow underground and foods so that they don't starve to death. There is a video up on my channel about the startup cost of a hamster, I'll be in the iCards if I can figure out how to do that or in the description below. The next con is that hamsters have not been domesticated for that long therefore might not like human love and affection. And you're also going to have to tame them when you bring them into your home to try and stop them from freaking out and becoming extremely stressed when you try to handle them. The second pro is that hamsters do not need to be kept in pairs or groups. You can get one and usually they'll be happier like that. Unlike what pet shops tell you, I went to a pet shop when I was getting my hamster and I knew that Syrians couldn't live together and I was looking to get a dwarf. And I asked the pet shop lady who was working there, I said, can I have one dwarf? And she said, oh no, you better keep them in a pair because they grew up together and it'll be even more stressful for them moving without their other half. They were both boys and one of them ended up killing the other. Um, George is the one that survived, he is one of the pairs and that's kind of when I learned to do your own research and not listen to pet shops. So don't keep them in pairs, especially if you have levels because they can get very territorial. But if you do keep them in pairs, make sure to have two wheels and try not to have any levels. Another pro of having a hamster is that you do not need to take them out on walks, unlike cats. Another pro of owning a hamster is that you don't really need to take them out on walks, unlike dogs. And the last one is that they are so adorable and it's actually surprisingly therapeutic watching your hamster run around their cage and exploring new things. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed this. I hope you're all having an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!